Blowback, The Costs and Consequences of American Empire, by Chalmers Johnson is a book that explores the unintended consequences of U.S. foreign policies since World War II and the implications of these policies for America's long-term security. The book argues that the U.S. has created anti-American sentiment in many countries as a result of its military interventions and support for autocratic governments, ultimately leading to acts of terrorism against the U.S. This article will provide an overview of the book and five key takeaways from it. Overview, Johnson's book consists of three parts. The first part defines blowback and provides a history of U.S. foreign policies from the context of the United States' activities in East Asia after World War II. The author also examines the CIA's role in overthrowing democratically elected governments and installing autocratic leaders in various countries, such as Iran and Guatemala. The second part looks into the consequences of the U.S.'s military interventions in countries such as Vietnam, Afghanistan, and Iraq, and the effects of its policies on support for terrorist organizations, including Al-Qaeda. The third part provides some case studies of countries where blowback has been most evident, including Iran, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. The author also gives some possible solutions to prevent further blowback. Key Takeaways 1. The Costs and Consequences of American Empire The book is premised on the idea that America has an empire, and that the focus of U.S. foreign policy is not always on safeguarding American security but on preserving American global dominance, even if that means supporting autocratic regimes. Johnson provides evidence of this, including how the U.S. has created anti-American sentiment through its policies and actions. 2. U.S. military interventions have unintended consequences, Johnson's book highlights how the U.S.'s military interventions in countries such as Vietnam and Iraq have unintended consequences that create resentment towards the U.S. in the countries where military intervention occurred. These interventions often result in the creation of terrorist organizations that ultimately attack the U.S. 3. The Role of the CIA in Creating Blowback The author's analysis shows how the CIA has been instrumental in overthrowing democratically elected governments and installing autocratic leaders in countries for U.S. interests, such as Iran with its role in the 1953 coup and the ongoing blowback that has resulted. The author also argues that the CIA's covert operations have increased the likelihood of terrorist acts against the U.S. Fourth, the U.S.'s support for authoritarian regimes has negative consequences, the U.S. has supported authoritarian regimes historically, and this has created resentment towards the U.S. and created blowback through the repression of human rights and democratic movements. Johnson highlights this point by examining the case of Saudi Arabia, where the U.S. has long supported the autocratic regime which has resulted in anti-American sentiment among the Saudi people. 5. Preventing blowback requires a change in U.S. foreign policy, Johnson's conclusion highlights the need for a significant change in U.S. foreign policy to prevent further blowback. This includes the U.S. foregoing its interventionist policies, discontinuing its support for autocratic regimes, and engaging in diplomacy to identify and address underlying issues. Conclusion Blowback is an important book that provides a compelling case for how U.S. foreign policies have resulted in anti-American sentiment around the world, culminating in acts of terrorism. Its main argument is that U.S. foreign policy should shift from maintaining global dominance to safeguarding America's long-term security. Johnson's analysis shows how changes in U.S. foreign policy can prevent future blowback and reduce anti-American sentiment globally. Finally, the book provides a cautionary tale for how military interventions and support for autocratic regimes can come back to haunt the U.S. in the form of future blowback.